Yep, I've done it. I've done it. I made the classic mistake of getting rid of my steady supply of materials before I build the new and better and improved version of it. So currently I have no hemp farm. Nada. But before I get to um, building an automated hemp farm, I want to start off my chicken farm because at the moment I do have a lot of hemp uh, fabric um, stored up while I have no source of chicken feathers at all. So I'm not sure yet if I want to build it above the storage room or above mm, the new and I don't know if it's improved, but slightly changed cooking area. Uh, so let me think about that, prepare some of the materials that I'll need, and I'll come back. The way that the chicken coop works is like this. There is a cell with an opening to throw in eggs, and in this cell, baby chickens will mature, swimming happily through the waters. Once they're fully grown, they will drop an egg, and the eggs will trigger a pressure plate. When the pressure plate is triggered, It'll open up an opening for the chicken to swim into the second room. The second room is for mature chickens to lay eggs in, which in turn will be collected in a hopper. When enough eggs have collected in the hopper, I will flip a lever and open up a second door, which will lead the chickens down a water stream, at the end of which is a saw. The chickens will die to the saw, fall through an opening at the bottom, and their feathers and chicken meat will be collected in a hopper, and I will be a happy panda. I've decided to go with building the chicken coop above the storage room instead of above the cooker, primarily because I want the chicken feathers to be deposit, deposited directly into this chest here. Um, cooking chickens is not very important to me at the moment. The only use I would have for that is to feed the dogs, and since I have enough beef over there, um, yeah, I'd, I, I'd re much rather be moving chicken meat than feathers, I think. So this is going to the, be the spot. And I think I will start building from the bottom upwards um, since the collection spot for the feathers is the lowest um, part of the entire system. So let's get to it. All right, so we'll start with our very first block. And above this hopper that will um, collect the feathers and chicken meat, we need another one which will collect um, the experience orbs. Well, we don't really need it, but I like the idea of having it. And I'll make it high enough so I can get under it and take um, experience orb showers. So that'll be that. Mm. We need to encase this. So for now, I'll just use dirt to see what I'm doing and then eventually I'll replace it with um, the proper blocks. So... Uh, I think I'll put a... Huh, how is this gonna work? I know I need to stop the water from falling, and I think that'll be sufficient. Because it'll be like this, encased in here, the water will flow off of the hopper down there, and everything will collect in there. Hmm. Yes, it will. And then, above that, we need... the saws. And... when I tested out uh, tested it out in the um, creative world, I found that the chicken tend to get caught because this saw isn't a full block. If I have a block here, once the chickens die to the saw blade, sometimes things will get caught right here on this shelf. 
So I found that I need to put in an extra block of water there for everything to flow down. And in doing so, like that, I need to stop. Oh wait, how does this work? Yes, that needs to be empty. And then I need to stop the flow of water here, I believe. Let's see. Water comes in. Oh, no, not there. Because, oops. Yes, this is the level that the water comes in at. Ooh, I didn't pick that up. This is the water trough or water stream that's coming in and it's coming in all the way here. Oh yes, that is where this needs to be. All right. So, oh, it looks like I'm running low on dirt. Okay. Need to get up to the stream to continue building. I make bad stairs. Hmm. Alright, so there we go. Now I think I will make the second door or opening right here. Um, that releases the adult chickens. So let's see. Need sticky pistons to be right there. And they will extract to grab these and then retract to open the door. Cool. Actually, you know what? Let's replace these with these blocks just so it's more obvious what they are. Okay. So I need to leave that open. The night is coming, so let me go take a quick snooze and I'll be right back. All right, morning has broken like the first morning. And there we go. Now, what this needs to be actually is a room for the adult chickens. So, let us see. Um, this will actually be replaced by a hopper. like so, because this is where all the water is going to flow into and the eggs are going to be collected. Hmm, how do I want to make this room? Morning has broken. How big do I want to make this room? Like the first morning. I think a 3x3 three three should be sufficient. So if we leave it at this, the adult chickens will be swimming in here. To lay their eggs, the water is going to come from this side over that way. And yeah, they'll basically just be swimming on top of here. Um, or as close as they can get, if depending on how many there are. I, I mm, originally thought of making this just a single uh, canal leading from the chick spawning room, but in depending on how many adult chickens you have, they can kind of you know glitch through and push each other in the wall, suffocate. Uh, so I'm not taking any chances there. So this will be the entrance doorway from the chick room. And 
And in order to do that, let's see. Um, the check room will open when there is a pressure plate. Yes. Um, that receive the signal to say, hey, there's an egg here. So, I think they can actually share a wall. Let me just try it out here and see if that indeed is the case. Um, so if they share this wall, the piston should be on this side as well. Okay. So, derp um these will be the doors again and pistons right here yes okay yes this should be sufficient all right this is coming along nicely Da, 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 da. All right, yes, the chick spawning room, I shall make three by three as well. So one, two, three. Yes, 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 yes. And this needs to be open so that I can throw in eggs through like so. Here, the water is going to start flowing this way. Um, the chickens are going to be swimming, swimming, swimming. Then once the egg drops there, the door is going to retract. The chickens will come into this cell. Adult chicken swim, 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 lay eggs, collect eggs there. And then when I feel like I have enough eggs, I'll open this door and the chickens can swim through their deaths. <laughs> All right. So um, let's get the wiring done. And then uh, I'll replace all of these dirt blocks with um, dark wood. I think I'll use dark wood for this one and I'll bring you guys back. So there you have it folks, the monstrosity that is the chicken coop. Man, it took a lot longer than I expected and uh, now that if we're gonna test it, it's gonna take a lot longer, but before we get up there, throw in eggs and take a look around, um, let me give you a quick rundown of how it works. Well, you know how it works, but yeah. So <laughs> on the far left, we see the baby chicken nursery and um, the logs are the door um, opening that are closed right now, leading to the next cavity, which is where the grown up chickens lay their eggs. And then we have the little stream leading to where um, the saws, uh, man, it's late at night right now. It it really took a lot longer um, than I expected, so my ma brain's kind of dead, but um, it leads to the saws where they will be all chopped up and then they fall down into the hopper at the bottom there. And this is the backside. As you can see, the redstone wiring itself wasn't that big of a deal. It j was just a matter of leading down the wire to where the respective um, inputs are. So on the left side, um, that door is the one that um, I manually open to send the adult chickens to their deaths and so I have a lever connected to that and here um, this block is where the pressure plate is and so uh, when a chicken grow when the chickens grow up and lay their first egg that will oops that will <laughs> trigger that door to open and send them on to the adult chicken uh, room. The mechanical power, however, is, as to be expected, very convoluted, particularly because I had those two axes um, side by side. It took a little extra maneuvering to get them to link all to one um, power source. And because I have so many different hoppers working at work here, like that one uh, receives the eggs, I made it automatically go down into the chest there. Um, 
The one that receives the feathers automatically drops them into the chest as well. And the one that receives the experience orbs, or the dra dragon orbs, I think they're called, is linked up to a lever here so I can decide when I want to take the experience orb shower. So that is that. Up top there's not much to see except uh, this lamp which I place so that I know when uh, an egg is sitting on that pressure plate. So uh, whenever the chicks over on this side are grown up and they lay an egg that will light up telling me that it is safe to put in another batch. It, it, well, it's almost time to put in another batch of eggs. Got some eggs on me, and now let's throw in our first batch to see if it really works. Cross your fingers. All right, we have two chickens. That will be sufficient. Um, I'm gonna wait here and see how it goes and I'll bring you back when things start growing. The chickens have just grown up and we will now wait to see them lay an egg. This is almost worse than watching wheat grow. At least with wheat, if you have a wide enough field they update every few ticks. <sighs> oh, look! Oh, what? Huh? Wait, what? What just happened there? Where'd the egg go? Where did the egg go? No, it didn't pass through. What? I don't know what happened. Hmm. It didn't glitch through. Oh, no! Duh! Duh! Oh, no! What happened? I did that. Oh, what? What? No. Oh. What? How did that happen? How did this break? How? I don't understand. And why is it still open and... <sighs> what? Oh, darn it. Oh well. Anyway, we know that it works, at least if they had laid the egg. Um, they would have gone through. <sighs> and let's see over here. It seems they're doing okay. They aren't able to fly over that uh, piece of wood, but just to be safe, I'll add another layer of glass as well. Do, do, do. Do, do. And let's see. Wood on this side. Wood on this side. Hey, don't fall in. Okay. Um, I'm gonna call that good. And, uh,. Try killing them. So let's see. Got one egg. But um, yeah. I am ready to finish up this experiment and just hit the hay. So here goes nothing. Okay, yes! They are killed and they fall and awesome! Wait, no feathers? Not a single feather drop? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I mean, did they get stuck there or what? Nope, 
no feathers dropped. What a ripoff. Well, hopefully in the future I'll be more lucky. And I, I still don't know what's up with um, that door. The first time it, you know, it opened. I don't know what happened there. But uh, hopefully no block glitches or anything. Or I, I really don't know. Like, there's nothing to update. Mm, yeah. Okay, so that's the chicken coop, and hopefully I will be able to gather many, 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 many feathers. Um, yeah. You know what? If I get adult chickens swimming in there, and I just get sick of waiting for them to grow up, I just might throw in a bit of hay so they make more baby chickens. I don't know. But anyway, thanks for watching, and that is my chicken coop. No moon. Mm. See ya.